hi good morning guys and girls in this video tutorials I am going to explain you how to register a domain name for your website and what is public and private registration and uh, what are the documents required for domain name extensions or not so let me tell you that there are a lot of companies or domain registrar uh, in India and across the world which uh, is being used for domain registration uh, big rocks domains.in and uh, godaddy is one of the biggest one is the best one so prices are almost uh, similar everywhere there would be a little much difference if they are giving some offer you uh, apart from that i recommend to go with godaddy.com uh, so first of all you decide your domain name suppose uh, my i am deciding here but i'm going to register remember this 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 site cannot register domain name extension with dot uh, ac dot in or dot edu it will be shown in other videos okay so this is for dot com uh, dot uh, in dot co dot in dot org dot net a lot of many things okay so let's see the process and let me tell you that there is no any document required at the time of registration or any time while registering these all domain name extensions okay apart from dot ac dot in and dot edu so <coughs> go to any of this website look up for your uh, favorite domain name which you are looking to have suppose uh, my exysexydog.com dogs.com okay and make a search here check that whether that domain name is available or not okay my sexy yeah it is available uh, I have kept here dash okay because I know that uh, if I won't kept here the dash I'll check that someone has taken already this so there is an option here that uh, whether you can go for a public registration or private registration then what do you mean by public registration and private registration okay actually if i would don't if i would not go with this private registration then whatever the information contact information or uh, my address or phone number or email or what would be the thing associated with my website would be shown to everyone else in who is lookup directory okay it's a place where uh, your domain name registration when it was registered who have who is the owner and lot many things can be viewed <coughs> to anyone but if you uh, if you are willing that you prevent these things that no one should know that uh, who is the real owner and where are all details so you can go ahead with this if you would select this and add then your domain name details which you would fill in uh, domain name details of the star or whatever else thing which you fill on the next page would not be shown publicly okay <coughs> so continue to check out i am not going for private registration they are asking for a lot many things other I, I, I tell that no thanks i don't need these all things just i need a domain name okay for one year i am going to purchase okay <coughs> so proceed to check out he is asking that you are a new customer or returning customer i say that i am new new customer then you would have to enter all your, your details okay company details name last name first name address uh, state uh, um, after that uh, your address zip code city phone number let me things will be asked to you your pin pin would be uh, nothing but uh, if you forgot your password customer care uh, will ask you this pin okay or if you are in problem they will ask you this print for your genuine validity validity okay once you go ahead with this all things and continue uh, and you make the payment your domain name will be purchased 
okay uh, back to login you go to uh, one, once you make the payment and uh, go to um, back to godaddy.com or your website uh, from where uh, you had purchased uh, your domain and uh, when you go to login okay if you go to my account oh, sorry if you go to your account <coughs> All other websites have uh, different look and uh, setup, so don't get confused. Just go through what they are willing to say. My all domains are here. Actually, okay, all my domains are here, which I had purchased. So, whatever you have purchased right now, it will be shown here. If you have one domain, it will show here, and uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, you the thing is that uh, only domain purchasing is not <coughs> the all thing done. You need to purchase a hosting space. Okay, so just look up your requirement, what kind of website you are going to create, and after that, uh, see that what is the requirement of that particular software or CMS which you are going to use on the website, and uh, view the hosting plans okay um, this is uh, unlimited bandwidth uh, this is much important because uh, if this would not be unlimited bandwidth would not be unlimited this is a tra data transfer from the server okay uh, when anyone anybody opens to your website to your website so that should be un unlimited if that would be limit uh, that would create some problem because after suppose uh, if some provider some company says that I would allow you a bandwidth of 1 GB or 100 GB if you're in in that case if your website has a huge visitors then <coughs> um, then and you after uh, crossing this bandwidth your site will be stopped from access so make sure that if you are uh, if you're going to create a website which has a uh, high number of visitors then choose for unlimited bandwidth definitely uh, look up for your definite uh, your space requirements and uh, MySQL database. Uh, <coughs> okay, how much email address at the rate of domain name you are looking for? These all things are uh, fine. If you feel, just add to the cart and go ahead and purchase, make the payment. Uh, they will ask you one thing that whether you are uh, willing to get a, a Linux and a Windows hosting. Both there are two type of servers which they have. Um, select your appropriate appropriate one depending upon the category of website which you are going to create mm. so, or uh, the software online software or platform which you are going to use on your hosting space uh, see the requirement and purchase this space uh, make the payment once you make the payment automatically you need if if you had purchased remember remember this thing if you had purchased your domain name and uh, your uh, hosting from the very same account then you need not to attach your hosting with domain name it will be automatically attached here it will be shown here and your domain name will be automatically attached with uh, your hosting space right so <coughs> this is very simple now you go to uh, go and upload your files to uh, your uh, hosting space and configure it which I will show in the next tutorial but uh, but the condition is somewhat different if you had purchased domain name from some, some other company and hosting some um, from some other company then what to do okay how to integrate those this will be shown in next video tutorial thanks a lot for watching guys and girls if you